Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 4. I just noticed, down here by the TV, there's a bong. Um, I have my new computer set up, and... Ooh, need to watch TV. Uh, and I'm recording uh, Grand Theft Auto now for the first time, back in 1080p with 60 frames per second, and I think the recording looks pretty good, as far as I can tell. Um... My camera's at a bit of a different angle this time. I'm trying something different. If you guys like it, I'll stick with it. If you don't like it, I will go back to the way things were. Um, let's see. Any other updates for you? I don't know. I know that we have um, this interview mission. Oh, yeah, and we disappointed little Jonathan. Little Jacob. We have this interview mission that's coming up at noon. Uh, on Sunday, and it's midnight basically on Saturday, so I don't want to do anything uh, mission-wise because I don't want to miss this damn thing. Anyway, uh, should we try watching TV in the meantime? You drop rules for everything, only on Weasel. Press up or down to change the channel. Press up or down to change the volume. V to change view. Last oh. week, we brought you the greatest victory in the history of televised card gambling mayhem. Five men looking with disgust at each other as their women look on in envy from the sidelines. <laughs> it's like a sixth grade circle jerk, Malcolm. Hey, that's right. And with that, Welcome back to the Venturas Poker Challenge in association with Cerveza Baracho. Because when you've got a full house, it's playtime! And E. Cola, because gambling is deliciously e infectious. I'm Malcolm Fitzherbert. And I'm Troy Berger. Uh, Troy, this is the biggest payday in sports. Next to convincing a city to give you a stadium and land tax free. Or when your city gets the Olympics. Oh, that's right. I mean, seriously, what can you say about what we've seen so far? Well, Malcolm, it's been a real... Well, what I'm... I'm just at a loss for words. Yeah. I mean, seriously, it is just Talk a tough sure, Chris time Cummings. describing this. I didn't see all the names. You know, I am paid to avoid uncomfortable silences. Well, it, it's been truly remarkable. This is entertainment at its finest. This is sport at its best. This is human drama at its most humane and dramatic. Talk sure Chris Cummings is going home a millionaire. And you know how he did it? By day after day, risking his future betting on a whim, putting everything he owned on the line for a lie. If that's not a metaphor <laughs> for, a for life, I don't know what is. Yeah. Chris moved here from San Viero, says he likes moving to a desert with a faceless suburb stretch on for a hundred miles. You can get a McMansion cheap, and there won't be any water left in five years. <laughs> well, you said it, Malcolm. Okay, just minutes ago, cocksure Chris Cummings pulled a bluff on Ace's high fruit loop and sent the whole place insane. Lunacy. Five people died. Bet it all, <laughs> don't play it safe, and go home a winner. Wow, the Poker Dome rules. Guys covered with logos wearing sunglasses indoors. I mean, these athletes are incredible. They're here for one thing, to win a shiny bracelet that says they're number one. Call it honky bling, but every man wants it. You know, every time I see Steve Buffet Karjabowicz play, I am amazed at the agility of the man. I am terrified of the wisdom and I am fascinated by the bubbling undercurrent of sexuality. What? This is they, mostly can you stupid. Take your hand off my leg? What I guess I'm <laughs> saying is uh, when that man rides the river, that river knows it's been ridden. The Venturas Poker Challenge! Hey, wait, 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 he's thinking. What's Jebowitz gonna do? What's in store for the buffet car? I am not sure. Uh, you think he's got pocket rockets? Cause you know, pocket rockets take out a pair of horse. Oh, they sure do, Troy. Man, Jesus. I'm so excited I could pee! Now, keep quiet. No, oh, sorry. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Cummings is looking at his cards. This is a huge moment. Unbelievably Ooh. big. That man is all about the flop. Oh, fantastic. Ooh. I cannot believe <laughs> he folded. that. He's folded. Take a look at that, ladies and gentlemen. You just saw history here tonight. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. <laughs> the crowds are going ballistic here in the desert. Hey, that's what it's all about. That and smoking and drinking yourself into an early grave. Hey, let's take a quick break. This break is brought to you by Sprunk, because commercials are the essence of life. And mm. Cherenkov, because commercials warm you to the core. 
Okay, what's the break? Uh-oh. Here comes Michael Graves with more of his negative attack ads. But let's stick to the facts and move past these pathetic politics of division and swift boating. Fact, Michael Graves spent taxpayer money on a vacation home in the Philippines where young boys speak in lisps and don't wear pants. Michael Graves <laughs> says he supports family values, but his wife is a harlot and has aborted five children. Jesus, Michael Graves that's quite an accusation. Tragic events a few years ago, but we haven't. He wants to end the war on terror and make America and your children vulnerable to terrorists, much like those little boys are vulnerable to him. You have a choice come election day. Choose freedom for your state. Vote John Hunter for governor. The future depends on you making the right decision. Hmm. Seems pretty accurate. A special night. A special man. Coming in three weeks, it's, it's the Night Court the font. Reunion in Iran. Hmm? All right, what else is on? And slit a Serbian's throat just like hey, I'm a Serbian. On the handle, remember Pearl Harbor? Hey, it's a gorgeous knife right there. Like someone spent hours just honing and sharpening and letting the hate turn into craftsmanship. <laughs> it is beautiful. Good. You'll also get mm. in this collection the Lonely Wolf Combat Style Knife with Extreme Satin Finish. Fits your hand perfectly. I used this knife yesterday. I cut a tree down to the size of a baseball bat. This is one of my personal favorites. The more I use it, the more I want to find stuff to cut. Usually I start <laughs> with my arm. Little cuts. Uh, try and forget. Easy, Luther. But we can't forget this set is an $8,000 value. 8000 You get the entire set under $100 by a nickel. $99.95. You are an idiot if you don't order. Static, static, static. For day. The Dutch had a land of plenty. They traded beaver skins, a 17th century version of wife swapping. Partied <laughs> late into the night. But founding a country on getting shit faced and working slaves was trouble from the start. <laughs> it hadn't worked for the Greeks, and it wouldn't work for the Dutch. 4,000 miles from home and no internet connection to read up on soccer scores, the populace became disenchanted. The read up on soccer scores, though, they say. And love of 24 hour shopping would begin to prove to be its undoing. History of Liberty City. Okay, that's interesting, but what else is on? Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. Hi, everybody. My name is Boss Rutten. And I'm Jack. And welcome to the man's room. Yeah, where men can hang out. Okay, now, tonight in the man's room, we're going to get personal. On this show, we're going to be discussing a lot, a lot of aspects of health, especially... Oh, boring. Edward the Boss. What? Me? TMT is like TNT. This fast living, fast fused, but vertically challenged bachelor and internet 2.0 millionaire has agreed to talk to us about what being rich is all about to him. Uh, since I became really rich, my life is incredible. I got a place with a glass floor so I can take it up some skirts with a special camera and a glass elevator that got a glass jacuzzi in it. And I ride up and down for hours. <laughs> you know glass what? jacuzzi I'm and elevator, why? Your nose in. I gone from nerd to hot quicker than you could say 750 million dollars in stock ops. Tony's place in Los Santos is legendary. Tony may only be five foot tall, but what he lacks in stature, he more than makes up for in sports cars. Why have one luxury Italian Inferno sports car when you can have two? And why have two when you can have 15? All exactly the same. Each one has monogrammed seats with the special Tony McTony logo. Tony McTony? I realized I needed a logo. So I got the best logo designer to make me one. It cost 15 million just to have it created. The silk thread was shit out by a Trappist monk. It's the Is that a Pokemon ball? The, the brake light there? The red background. You've never seen anything like it, people. My towels, my condoms, my gold rim jobs, all of it with the Tony McTony logo. Bitches love a niche. Tony also hires women <laughs> to sit cross legged and topless in leather pants in bird cages hung from his ceiling. And they meditate so people really realize just how rich he is. Now, 
I get laid all of the time, which is great, because I was a virgin up until about six months ago. Tony spends his weekends powerboating up the Humboldt alongside Algonquin, while he gets his special platform shoes hand-built by Eskimos out of Moon Rock. He likes to get I'm guessing we're going to meet Tony at some school. point. For the war on terror, the weather, and sports, Weasel News. Oh, this is supposed to be Fox. Recorded live from the capital of the world, Liberty City, the famous split sides comedy club. Oh, you God. No. To the comedy club where the drinks ain't cheap. Welcome to the stage, Mr. Cat Williams. Thank you. Is this the same Thanks set so we did much. before? Thank you. Appreciate it. Liberty City. Woo Great. Never, I just want to see if it's the same set. I've never been here before. It's my first time. It's a visitor to Liberty City. This is amazing. The speed and the pace in which this city works. Went on a mini adventure today. I got up, got dressed. This got is a different set. Swagger right, had my bravado, and I decided I'm going to cross a Liberty City street. No, I'm not going to watch it. I didn't like it the first time. I ain't going to watch it the second time. And receiving emails from the. Yeah. Oh, the minimum, the famous split. The hell? That you dream of, and it's only on I'm Rich. <laughs> I'm Rich is brought to you by Crapia, budget lifestyle solutions made from particle board. Rimmer's sunglasses, sight for sore eyes. Al Dente's, all the mamma mia you can eat. Trackify Wireless, keep tabs on the ones you love. Big Log Cereal. Who doesn't love Big Logs in the morning? <laughs> Wife Beater Gin. The way to relax when you want her to shut the fuck up and let you watch TV. Bean Machine Coffee. Chihuahua Hot Dogs. Try beating our meat. Promotional consideration and advertising breaks brought to you by Adios Air. Say your goodbye. The ads are brought to you by somebody to too? Max. Get flowing again. Alpha Male. The Postal Evolution. The Alco Patch. It's the same refreshing feeling of your favorite drink, Deliver but delivered abuse. transdermally and discreetly. Fanny Crabs Bar and Grill. You'll love the taste of our Fanny Crabs. Support for the sponsor listing portion of the show brought to you by 24 God damn, what the hell? Stores. Where else are you going to buy a six pack condoms and cigarettes when you're high at three in the morning? <laughs> Burger Shot. Kill your hunger. It's bleeding tasty. Nochi, because Italians are known for their watches. Rusty Brown's Ring Donuts, Max Renda Cosmetics, and Wigwam Burger. No need for reservations. Closed captioning for the hearing impaired brought to you by Pirate Music Stores, who invite you to hear the future of music, and Tinkle Wireless. Tinkle everywhere. Tinkle in your ear. And Eugenics Incorporated. Call Eugenics Incorporated, eugenics? where morality is none of our business. <laughs> Get ready to laugh your guts out. The comedy, Drunk Daddy, and the door oh, no. returns in two weeks. You're on CNT. Oh no, you ever CNT. Go to bed? <laughs> Think that'll get into her pants? No way. You need something classy. Super classy. Super classy touch limo. Prestige Ooh. can be purchased and even rented by the hour. Feel like a player or a rich executive who just got a bonus for laying off 10,000 employees. Get exotic. Our limos feature hot tubs, pool tables, pizza ovens, what? leopard skin, pool firing tables. ranges, flat surfaces for laying out <laughs> rails, and jungle swings all on wheels. <laughs> Out Super rails. classy. Nail that prom date personal oh. assistant or greeting oh. window inside. Oh. Contact Super Classy Touch Limo today. Ooh, it only got worse. You're on CNT, the best in comedy, news, drama, and paid programming. Up next, don't miss a chance to find the knife of your dreams on okay. the Okay, we saw that. Bed. Let's get out of here. What time is it now? It's, uh, it's only six o'clock in the morning. We still have more time to waste. Um, what should we do? Your life of sin is over. Understand? It's over. The moon. I haven't seen the moon yet in this game. I have no vehicle. What? I just ran next to you, dude. Relax. I'm just 
kind of scoping things out. I don't think I've actually walked around my neighborhood. This is where I live. I was kind of hoping there'd be a parked car around. Like over here. No, over here. A lot of people out at 6 in the morning on a Sunday. Everybody's getting ready for church, I guess, huh? Switch 57 is the name of this car, I think. That cop did not care. Look at him. Not at all bothered. Alright, what am I doing? Where am I going? What should I do? The interview is going to be somewhere in Algonquin. Uh, Algonquin? What is this called again? The Manhattan area. So maybe we'll head this way. Let's go to the Internet Cafe and hang out for a bit, huh? Okay, well. Um... Hang on, I forgot how to do this. There we go. That's close enough, whatever. This way. Yeah, get some air on that. Yeah! Whoa! Look out! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I saw that lady's. I saw that lady in front of me, I was like, oh no, I'm gonna kill her, look out! Hmm? Cop was crashing into people over here. Nice. Alright, let's motor over the bridge. Whoa, shit! Sorry. So long. Whoa! I got pinched. I got pinched. So, uh, with the new computer being all set up, this is like maximum settings, maximum draw distance for traffic. Oh shit, and all that stuff. Um, I think it records okay. It doesn't seem jumpy when I checked out the test recordings. We gotta move. You going to start? It's not starting. I think I'm outside the circle. You don't have to worry about it. I think I can steal this ambulance. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna steal an ambulance. Hopefully, nobody needed this thing. People in the hospital are going to come out and be like, what the hell happened to our ambulance and why is this piece of shit car here? I actually want to go to the internet cafe. There we go. Alright. Uh, let's remove that thing. We point off. Enter. There we go. I just like to get rid of it so it's not distracting me. No thanks. Let's just check what time it is. Eight o'clock. We have plenty of time. Web. Email? No new emails? Nico, listen, thanks for doing that. I didn't think you'd mind dating a guy after all that time in the Merchant Navy. Bruce is really grateful. Yes, we already read that. Delete. Read that. Did that already. Uh, let's wait on that just because we don't actually know if we're gonna. We're not gonna do it right now, is what I'm trying to say. Um, we didn't get anything from our date, date lady yet. Ew. Ew. 
<laughs> what the hell? <laughs> no. I really like stuff. Somebody told me the law chick is a good person to date. Undercover lover hasn't gotten back to us. Let's try dating Soboho. Location in Bohan. Oh, good. Job nurse. Sexuality, free spirit. Build best body you're ever going to see about me. At the moment, Carmen is a nurse. She's so much more special than that. She's going to be an actress or a model or some shit. Definitely a celebrity. Who knows how it's going to happen, but Carmen's going to be big time. If you a hot chico, then Carmen, the girl for you. Likes? Carmen likes good, uh, looking good. She worked hard at her appearance and worked cheap to get this ass or these teeth. She's been spending money on herself for you, so you should spend the money on her when you're going out. Okay, I, makes sense. <laughs> Gold digging a little bit, but I, it makes sense. She likes all men as long as they treat her like a princess. She don't mind getting her fingers greasy at Clucking Bell or watching greased up girls at the strip club. Dislikes. Clar Carmen don't like to be controlled, so don't you try to tie her down. When she was a little girl, her daddy was the only man in her life. Now that she's a big girl, Carmen has all the men she likes. She don't like stuck-up places or stuck-up people, though. All right, let's try it. We're having, not having any luck so far with the uh, undercover lover. Any news? It's been a while since we checked. What is this? Own our reality, the news that really matters. Dishing the heart of your fa on your favorite celebrity. Dishing the dirt on your favorite celebrities. Ugh, I don't even want to know celebrity news. Who cares? I don't care about celebrity news in real life. King or queen, secret royal family, hermaphrodite shocker. Wardrobe malfunction, turns bloody. Well, doing marriage over in 20 minutes. Celebrity sign. Eh, who gives a fuck? What was the other? What was the new site I read last time? This one, I think. Video game violence becomes real. <gasps> Argument over video games leads to murder. Javon! <gasps> this was the dude that we ran over. Javon Simpson's body was one of the many collected by coroners in Algonquin recently. It is Algonquin. Okay, good. It wasn't a knife or a gun or a rocket launcher that killed this man, though. He was killed by video games. Witnesses reported a heated argument outside Video Geddon. Oh, it's, that's what it's called. I didn't know what it was called. Arcade, an establishment where addicts pump quarters into computers to get their fix of horrific violence. Excuse me, sorry. This is a bit meta, isn't it? The argument was followed by a chase on motorbikes, then his grisly murder. It is no surprise that upset community leaders are pointing to games as the cause of his death. The pattern of altercation, vehicle chase, murder, rebirth, and try again is common in video games. Although Mr. Simpson was a known drug user and dealer with several convictions, we are certain this case is due to polygons and pixels and not parole boards. Deadly baby. Angry newborn murders father. Tantrum goes too far. Some of us never have successful resolution, resolution of the Oedipus complex, a situation that turned dead. Successful resolution? Ew. Some of us? <laughs> situation that turned deadly in Rotterdam Hill. Joshua Hampton, age six months, was arrested by police after a neighbor called in a report of strange noises at the apartment next door. Police found the body of Abraham Hampton, 31, stuffed under a baby changing station in their Rotterdam Hill apartment, and just like Lias and Jocasta, Joshua and his mother were already planning their wedding. What in the fuck? The Britannian Museum. Excitement, a generous donation. Lyle Cleethorpe's philanthropy continues. The renovation of the Libertonian continues. Not content with having donated a wing, Lyle Cleethorpes of the famous labor trading and sweatshop owning family has donated workers on his payroll to assist the renovation process, Cleethorpes said. Any end to speed this process is worth it. I remember walking through this museum as a child and thinking what a great testament to mankind it would be if my name were on every wing of the place. I donated all of my helpers it's such a shame that no one can see the splendor of our wing and marvel at what our family has achieved. This city only survives because of the generosity of philanthropists like Lyle Cleethorpes. Mob trial? Dog meat has his day in court, making a meal of justice. Vito Dog Meat Minotti stood in front of a judge at the Civic Citadel today in order to give evidence against his fellow mobsters. Minotti, having admitted to a series of murders here in Liberty City in the early 90s, 
has accepted a plea deal from the DA. This will allow him to gain a new identity in the witness, witness relocation program in some horrible town in a desert state, providing his testimony leads to the conviction of his criminal cohorts. Mr. Minotti, a longtime senior ranking member of Pavano crime family, gained his moniker from his ownership of a dog food processing plant. Minotti now admits that this gruesome plant was a good means of laundering money and disposing of the unfortunate victims of his mob hits. I knew that was coming. Minotti is just one of a number of mobsters who have recently turned on their fellow criminals in exchange for lenient sentencing. While some applaud the efforts of the FB FIB, others think that the convictions are futile. Ex-Secretary of Security Enforcement Bobby Jefferson had this to say, There's always going to be organized crime. The mob in Liberty City is being weakened, but it's just opening up room for new gangsters coming to town. The Alderney-based mobsters are trying to take control of Liberty City. Rackets and gangsters are coming in from Eastern Europe. Present. These guys are even worse than the likes of Vito Dogmeat. There's a lot of money in Liberty City and officials willing to be bought off, so there will always be crooks here trying to take advantage of the situation. It's unfortunately the dark side of human nature. Murder in Hove Beach, that's where we lived for a long time. Yet another brutal, brutal murder in Hove Beach. Death at the Diner. There was... I wanted to see if you could click on the byline, but no. There was another brutal murder in Hove Beach today. This time, however, police do not believe it is related to the ever-tightening hold of the Russian Mafia on the area. The victim, a Mr. Tom Revis, had told the owner of 69th Street Diner that he was on a hot date. He was then seen in a romantic context with an older foreign-looking man. Moments later, he was dead. Mr. Revis was unemployed, but is reported to have had a number of older boyfriends who supported him. Police are curr per currently pursuing all leads in the hope that no uh, one will lead them to the killer. Bossack confusion. Nine out of ten people have no idea what the hell that means. Close <laughs> closes up 12 points. And what will have a massive effect on the American economy, the boss act closed up 12 points. Traders were seen furiously running around the floor of the stock exchange, writing things on small bits of paper and yelling at each other. Numbers and letters scrolled by really fast on the walls. People looked excited, then upset, then really happy. Financial news channels spent the rest of the evening speculating on what this means, which is a good thing, as most of America has no fucking clue what any of this boring horse shit is. <laughs> All we know is our pensions are probably screwed while some shit dick is riding to his $10 million house upstate in an Italian sports car. It's funny. Arson and broker? Arson, spade, and broker. Where there's smoke, there's crime. Following the massive rise in shootings recently in Eastern Broker, Police warned of a new danger looking for residents. Arsons. Arson. Arsons. Two buildings, including a taxi garage, were recently gutted by fire. Although two men were seen starting the fire with Molotov cocktails, that wasn't me, was it? No arrests have been made. We will stay with this story if we can find something interesting to say. In the meantime, be very suspicious of anyone buying vodka matches in a, a gas-soaked rag, but try not to panic. Local police were appealing for calm, and also lots of snitches and widespread anxiety. <laughs> That's stupid. Uh, we're appealing for calm and widespread anxiety. Biker wars. Hell for leather. More biker gang violence on the streets of LC. A gas, leather, and crystal meth-fueled war is raging on the streets of Liberty City. It isn't nations fighting, but rival motorcycle gangs battling for control of the streets. Men have died in this war, like the lost biker Jason Michaels, who was killed in Broker recently. I think that's the dude I killed. Bill Burr. How long is it going to be before innocent civilians are killed as well? Mainly thanks to the Angels of Death and their public relations efforts, biker gangs have taken on a much more friendly image in recent years. They appear in family-friendly movies and are romanticized in video games and TV shows. They are thought to stand for a noble rebellion against the norms of society. Be warned, this image is just a smokescreen used to cover up their real criminal agenda. Sleeping with your wife and selling meth to your kids. Death races. Whoa, dude. Race to the death. Dangerous driving, still cool. A group of young men are turning the streets of Liberty City into death traps. They meet in supercharged killing machines in order to race at insane speeds through the city streets. That's me too. In the world of illegal street racing, all that matters is the size of your stick, the smell of your leather, the garishness of your paint job, and the sheen on your rims. Brucey Kibitz, the high-flying owner of Brucey's Executive Lifestyle Autos, is an expert on the street racing scene. 
People come to my place to get their cars tricked out. They come to Brucey because his place is the best. He's genetically different. That's how he ro excuse me, how he rolls. So if you get your car tuned by Brucey, you're going to dominate. That is, unless you come up against him on the start line. When asked if Mr. Kibitz endorsed this reckless endangerment of Liberty City residents, he refused to continue the in interview and became enraged, hitting the wall of his garage repeatedly with his head. Do we have to wait until a sight-impaired elderly woman is struck by a testosterone-pumped gearhead like Brucey Kibitz before this dangerously irresponsible street racing is brought under control? We hope not, Mayor Ochoa. Hate crimes? Suspected gay basher in Middle Park. As if Middle Park was not dangerous enough, a suspected gay basher is on the loose. Several gay men have been attacked over the past weeks. Deputy Mayor Bryce Dawkins believes that this spree of beatings is down to a lack of family values. Homosexuality should not be flaunted around parks where impressionable young children or I might see. Others have been more forthright. The police commissioner warned that this man is a repeat offender and must be stopped. Hate crimes have no place in our city, unlike financial fraud, insider trading, counterfeit goods, or political corruption. Suddenly, a walk in Middle Park doesn't sound like a good idea. I already read that one. Bridge pressure. Mayor under pressure to reopen bridges. General public having opinions. We read that one too. I think we're pretty much caught up. And I bet we're probably... I still don't know how to get out of this thing. I bet we're pretty close to the time. Oh shit, I missed it. Damn it. 